a set of carbs here off uh, 1100 Yamaha. And I, I want to show you something, see if this makes sense to you. You talk about attention to detail. Can you see how this is crooked? And can you see how this is tipped in on this bracket here? And there's just something about it doesn't look right, right? So when you're doing this kind of stuff, you want to take a look at, this is the hard stuff in dealing with used, is, let me set this back down here. If you look at the angle of this and the angle of that, so we're going to put a cable across here, and that cable is going to open, watch this, opens the choke plunger. Okay? So if you look at these two, you can see they're not lined up very well. All right? That looks pretty bent. And let's look at it from another angle. Ooh, there's a wonderful shot. Do you see that? Let's take a closer look at that. The red arrow represents the rear bracket that I think is bent up and in. And in relationship to the yellow bracket, you can see that that cable bolt to that wouldn't have a nice, good, smooth pathway. That is bent. Something's bent. Something's not right. And when I go to put the other carb on and link it up, We've got a situation where this cylinder, the spark plugs run rich, and we've really been looking for something. And there could be a good chance that this, because we, we pull a single cable, single choke cable, right? Well, we'll see here in a second. If this is sticking or binding and not allowing this lever to do its job and operate that choke, maybe closing off, that could be why we're running rich. The clues of being a mechanic. Anyway, there's my little tip. Tension to detail, alignment, craftsmanship, things like that. Thanks for tuning in to HowToRinch.com and keep wrenching, my friends.